Hello from HP's Gadget Hacks. Today we're going to run some quadrant scores on a T-Mobile HD2 running the Gingerbread ROM GPC HD2 Gingerbread version 1.7. It has an overclock kernel built in so I use set CPU to overclock it to 1.5. I don't run at 1.5 like this all the time. I do have profiles I set but just for these tests we're going to run at 1.5 just to show you what this phone can get on scores. We're going to run a set of five benchmarks, the last being FPS 2D, which is not actually a benchmark per se, it uh, shows frames per second. It's just something interesting to run, so if you're not interested in that, when it gets to that point, cut the video off. We're going to start with NeoCore, which is a uh, Adreno uh, GPU benchmarking program made by Qualcomm. I don't know how accurate it is since Qualcomm actually made it and they make the chips, but we'll run it regardless. I'm not sorry about that. In interactive mode, we want regular benchmark mode. Thirty-one point three frames per second. It's slightly below the average of current phones. Not too bad considering the age on this piece of hardware. So now we're gonna run Smart Bench, which is probably my favorite GPU or sorry CPU benchmark program because it tests for graphics and well, it has an error. So. <laughs> Okay, I had a bit of technical difficulty, but now we're going to run Smart Bench because I, it's one of my favorite benchmark programs because it shows a um, gaming index and a standard index, which I like because you'd be surprised the difference on some of the phones. But this benchmark is also where you can see it's quite a bit slower than some other phones. Still impressive for the age of the hardware though. Alright, display index scores. And you can see we're setting at 1126 on the productivity index and 1090 on the gaming index. As you can see, the gaming index is pretty low. So, better than Evo Shift 4G, which is. Oh no, excuse me, no, it's not. <laughs> Should have known because I have the T Mobile version of that phone. Uh, it's better than. Uh, LG Optimus One, the Desire, it's better than the Nexus One slightly, and it's a bit above some of the other phones, the uh, Epic 4G. But those phones are pretty crippled with stock software, anyways. So it's a uh, faster than my HD2 running 800 megahertz, but pretty decent. Okay, now we'll run. Nina Mark, which is another uh, GPU benchmark program.
quite loud too. I don't know why they thought it needed to be so loud, but. That's actually quite low on this program. I don't want to publish it. So, let's run Quadrant. That seems to be people's favorite benchmark program. Also, keep in mind I am running a live background on this, and that taxes the CPU ever so slightly. And our results. We're running 1171. I usually run slightly over 12. I usually run more in the Nexus 1 with 2.2 range. So, I mean, that's what it averages at. I did just restart the phone, so it usually takes a while for things to set in and the quadrant scores to come up. But it does average somewhere between 1100 and 1200, so we'll go with that. Yeah, let's kill it. Sorry kill task one more time and then we will run FPS 2D and then this after this our video will be concluded but I must say these are some of the better benchmark scores I get on this phone especially with the Android 2.3 ROM there are a couple of 2.2 ROMs and we got an average 57 not the best definitely not the worst though but uh, there are some Android 2.2 ROMs that do better. But uh, this is pretty good benchmarks for a 2.3. I actually enjoy this ROM quite a bit. Thanks for watching.